Hey busy bees, happy Thursday. Today I am announcing a new series that I am gonna be starting called Thirsty Thursdays. With the holidays coming, I think we all need some recipe and drink inspiration. So I thought every Thursday I'm gonna put together some, just a small video with my favorite drink of the week. It could be alcoholic, it could be a tea recipe, a coffee recipe, anything that'll keep us warm and going for the winter through the holidays. So if you guys like this series and like the idea of this series, please be sure to subscribe below and comment and let me know what drinks you want me to make. And uh, today I'm actually gonna be showing you one of my favorite uh, in the past month or so. I discovered that you can make beer cocktail. Usually cocktails are made with like harder liquor like vodka or rum or whatever else there is out there, but I discovered beer cocktail by accident because um, did you guys know that beer actually helps you produce milk for nursing moms? I know, it's like a, what do you call it? It's like a, so the yeast in the beer helps with milk production. I found that out by accident because Nate was drinking this beer, actually Ballast Point is his favorite with the grapefruit sculpin. And I was like, ooh, grapefruit beer? That sounds really good and I would love to try some. And so I had a little bit and literally the next day I had so much milk and I'm like whoa this is awesome and so I was like I'm onto something I'm onto something and I also researched online that brewers yeast actually helps as well anyways that aside for all you non-nursing viewers let's go ahead and get started with the recipe this is the Indian pale ale IPA grapefruit sculpin and I'm just gonna add and I'm just gonna add it into my mason jar. When you're pouring beer into a glass, be sure to pour it down the side of the glass so that it doesn't foam up. I accidentally forgot to do that, so there's excess foam, but we're fixing that. All right, and there's our drink. Just kidding. Next up, I really wanted to play up the flavors of the grapefruit, so here I have two ounces of grapefruit juice. And finally, I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of cranberry juice. That looks good. I'm just adding a little bit of sweetness and the cranberry just really gives it a nice tangy punch too. Finally, I'm gonna give it a quick stir with a sprig of rosemary and leave it in as garnish. And that's it. This will be an excellent drink to serve at your Thanksgiving dinner and it's so unusual and different, I think guests will really, really get a kick out of it. Now this is my kind of beer. I'm not usually a beer person. I find it too hoppy or just too, I don't know, bitter for me, but this kind of makes it a little bit more drinkable, at least for me anyways. You don't really taste too much of the juices in here because there's not too much sugar, but you still get a little bit of the bitterness from the beer and the fruitiness and tanginess of the grapefruit and the cranberry. And then the rosemary in here just gives it a nice little herbal essence. You guys should definitely try this. All right, so since we are having Thirsty Thursday and it's kind of like happy hour, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions and just chit chat with you guys for a little bit. I've been getting a lot of questions on my um, YouTube channel that I really wanna answer. All right, so in the cauliflower soup video, I had a question from Paulina Lobato. What if you don't have an immersion blender, can you use a normal blender? Would you blend while the soup is hot or is it even better to blend it before? So that's a great question. If you don't have an immersion blender, you know, like one of those stick blenders, um, go ahead and use a normal blender. The only thing that you need to watch out for is to make sure that the soup cools down enough so that it doesn't explode when you're blending it. Anytime you're blending hot items, you run the risk of it kind of just like exploding because the heat is trying to escape. I've had that happen to me before and it will get really messy, so just avoid that. Okay, next question. Where did you get your black and white ceramic measuring pitcher? It's adorable. Did you mean 
This one, I got this from Anthropology, and to be honest with you, function wise, it's not that great because every time I pour it just like spills out and it goes down the side, but I love it as a decorative piece and I use it in the video because it's pretty. I'll link the product below if you guys are interested. Last question from Hello Goodbye. Please, please, a hot chocolate and holiday drink slash coffee video. I think that answered your question here and what do you think I should make for my next video? My question for you guys. What do you guys think if I did a hot chocolate video for my next Thirsty Thursday video? That actually sounds really nice and cozy right now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. These are short little videos uh, for your drink inspiration. Stay thirsty, stay happy, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!